Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, so this here in Australia is what we call the bush. The bush is this. Now, it's just at the end of my street, which I don't want for privacy, I'm not gonna show you, but I'll just show you, there's my little car there on the street. Look, you saw my shadow, hi! You're not gonna see me for a while yet because I'm still recovering from all the stuff I've been through. But here I go down this little hill and when it rains, this little bridge here goes underwater and it goes all the way up over the side of this, the road here. So it comes up about 15 feet from like the gully. So I'm gonna take you down and show you this gully today. So you get another little bit of walking through the bush of what we call it here in Australia, the bush with all the gum trees. This is a fig growing up this tree. So that's actually two types of tree. Okay, so that's a fig. And in here we have turtles, big lizards, snakes, lots of snakes here in Australia. So you don't want to go down in there. Okay, no way. So what I want to talk about today is, here we go off the other side of that bridge. Okay, what I want to talk about today is the word why. You know when we say something like, why the heck is this happening to me? Why the hell did that happen? So when we use the word why, what we're actually being is accusingly. We're being accusing. We're judging. We're judging why things happen to us when it doesn't happen to others. So it's a form of comparison and it also is very negative because of that comparison and also that we're judging why things happen to us. So today I want to talk about why things happen to us and perhaps we could start rewording this into well this happens to me. So imagine the sentence why does this happen to me but now we make it well this has happened to me see how now it's more accepting and most of all it doesn't show any sort of negative um, connotation associated to it so when we say why is all this happening to me why is the world falling down around me why 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 that's only our ego and our ego gets in the way of us being any, um, having any sort of um, personal growth in our future, right? Now, I've just got a guy walking towards me, so I'm just going to turn around my phone. Okay, so I'm in the bush and I'm talking today about the word why. So when we say the word why, it's actually accusing. We're judging. So I'm going to be writing a book and it's called Why I Hate the Word Why and Hate. Why I hate the words why and hate. So when we look at the word why, it's actually showing control mechanisms. And it's also showing that we're trying to control the outcome of what is occurring. So instead of saying the word why do things happen to me, I'd like you to start saying, well, this is happening to me. Because this shows them that we're accepting where we are in our lives. And most importantly, we want to start coming up with productive and positive ways of dealing with what we've been through. <laughs> so then we move forward in a more loving and positive environment. That gentleman just left. He's walking his baby and his dogs. There you go. If you can see him, he's walking his baby and his dogs. So... Here I am here. Now, this all fell in when after we had our last floods. Where I'm standing right now, this was 10 foot underwater. So I'm just going to turn around here so you can see where I am. This was all, and I'll show you where the tree is. This white tree here, the water was up to near um, where that shadow is. That's how deep all this water was when we had our last floods. Now, this is sand, and I'll just zoom in so you can see all the sand here. And down in there, we have some really cool turtles, snakes, fish. I've actually seen a turtle here. Um, lizards, 
spiders. You know, Australia has some really weird spiders here in Australia. But it's really cool seeing all our native um, trees, etc., that we have here in Australia. Okay, so this is a big gum tree. This, because it's white, they call this a ghost gum. Okay, the ghost gums are the white ones. So that's a ghost gum, just so you can see. So I'll now zoom back out so we can keep moving down to here. My daughter will be coming through here shortly from school. So I'm going to meet her down here anyway and scare her to bits when I go around into here. <laughs> when she comes through in about 10 minutes. All right. So getting back to why and well. Have a look at your own conversation when you're talking to somebody. And ask yourself, do I use the word why? Um, classic one. Oh, look, there's a feather here. i got to pick this up. Oh, I just got a sign. There's a sign. Oh, look, you just saw my hair. I got a sign, guys. There's a feather for me. Okay? So we've always got to stay ahead and always watch out for our signs, our messages, right? So I'm just going to put him into my back pocket. Okay? Oh, nice feather for today. All right. So ask yourself. Oh, now, look, something's been digging here. Okay. Something's been digging here in the ground. Um, that could be anything. Here in Australia, we have a lot of animals. <laughs> that could be anything from a bush turkey. Um, we get these bush turkeys here that are black. They're like digging everywhere. Um, I'm not, I I'm, don't want to be too, I'm going to be careful here that I don't get too close to the edge because this all could just fall in um, under my weight. But I just want to show you where I am now so you can have a little look of where I just was. And they've put all that in because it all collapsed in on itself when we had the last rains that came through here. So we've got to be very careful because there's all snakes and everything that lives down in here. Big tree. Like you can see the big tree over there that's come down um, because of all the rain that we've had through here. So, you know, when you look at it into comparison, the water went up this tree. Um, where's my finger? You know, it went up to about there. And that's how deep the water came through here only two months ago when we had some major major flooding here okay so much for climate change right um yeah so when you look at yourself and you can say to yourself why am i saying what i'm saying ask yourself because you know we can always judge ourselves right but it's not nice when we judge other people so it's good when we can say, I'm just going to go back out to, onto the past because I don't like being in the bush because there's snakes and really crazy animals that really don't like us here in Australia and whatever's been digging here in the dirt. Okay, it'd be cool if I saw something. <laughs> so I could say, oh, look, there's an Australian native. Okay, well, we have um, a police um, helicopter flying over. Okay, so getting back on track because I love just showing you what's around. Um... When you're talking to yourself and you say something like, imagine that you're about to go to bed and your really bin guy comes the next day, you know, your trash guy comes, garbage collector, and you say to your husband or your partner, and you say, why haven't you taken the bins out? Why haven't you taken the bins out is actually very accusing. Because one, it's showing control mechanisms where you're trying to control what that other person is doing. And it also shows that you're superior to the other person. So it actually diminishes what they're trying to accomplish. So the way I've brought up Tashi, now I'm not gonna say that I'm the best mum on the planet, cause I'm not, but I like giving ideas. But with Tashi growing up, I always gave her options, options. So instead of ever saying, why hasn't she done something? I always said to her, honey, these are your chores. It's up to you when you do them. But I'm not going to tell you when to do them because then it's up to you to learn to be responsible, which also builds self-worth and self-respect. So when we say something simply like, why haven't you taken the bins out? That's actually showing that we're trying to diminish and control another person. So when we say things like, well, the bins haven't been taken out, we're now relinquishing that control and what we're doing now is allowing the other person to make up their decisions when they want to do something without us judging or accusing them. So 
this is what I'd like you guys to start considering and it's also a good thing to teach to other people around you because I'm always one to say are you aware you know I say to my close circle I say are you aware that when you do this you're actually doing this so in this context it would be are you aware that when you ask me why haven't I done something you're actually showing me that you're in control and you want to belittle me and make me subservient to who you are. Now, it doesn't go down too favourably with people when they hear the truth, but ultimately, how do we ever know what is wrong unless somebody points it out so we then want to change it and become a better person in our future, correct? So when and, I'm sorry, why and well, Next time that you say, why hasn't this gone in accordance with my life path or why did this occur, change it to well. Well, my life's down the toilet. Well, my life's down the toilet. Okay, we all can say that at this point. Hello, you know, (laughs) unless you're a billionaire. Well, my life's down the toilet. So that shows now that we're going to accept where we are And we're going to try and do something about it. So this shows self-appreciation. It's building self-worth. It's building character, integrity, and most of all, honesty within ourselves. So we then go on and be better, positive people to those around us who we love and treasure. Don't ever treat life like a competition. Life is not a competition, guys. No one is better than the other. We all end up being dust at the end of the day. You know, when we die, we don't take money. We don't take our houses. We don't take our cars. We all return to dust like the next guy. So remember that there is no competition ever with anything in life. The only competition that is entrusted onto us is what society does to us, correct? Look at all the combat combat sport we do. Everything is a competition. Every sport is a competition. There's no, there's no sport ever where you compete against yourself, okay? You're always competing against somebody else and it's conditioned onto us to be that way. So in my philosophy, don't play that game. Don't compete. Don't ask why things happen. Say to yourself, well, this has happened. How do I move forward to make my life better? and better for those around me. Today I'm feeling a bit better. I've been sick for the last few weeks. So look at the beautiful blue sky we're here in Brisbane today. So of course I'm out and I'm videoing to share it with you guys because this is what I do when I think, why is my life going down the toilet? Why have I been so sick? I'm not going to accuse, judge or belittle anything in my life going on, judge anything. All I'm going to do is say, well, it's happened. How do I get through it, move forward and make tomorrow better than today? So I hope that you've enjoyed this video from me today. This is the bush at the end of my street. I like standing here and just watching the sand, seeing whatever happens down in the water. And I hope that you all have a good afternoon or good morning, wherever you are on the planet. And thank you so much for watching today. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.